Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my wrap up for the first half of March. I can't believe that half of March is already over. I managed to read five books in the first half of March and all of these books counted towards Romathon, which is the event I am participating in that goes all month long and I also read these books for other reasons other than one. I read two physical books and three audiobooks for this 15 day period March 1st through March 15th. The first couple of books I finished were carryovers from from February. The first one I finished was Mine by Robert McCammon. I only had like 125 pages to go when March started. So I counted it for Ramadan, but I only counted it as 125 pages because that's how much I read in the month. And I gave mine four stars. It had a little bit of a, a rough start for me. I think that is because it seems a little dated because of the characters. It is very set in the time it was written. Um, the main antagonist is this hippie, like a, a militant hippie that wants the world to stay in that 19, late 1960s kind of way and isn't letting go. And then it's kind of about her hatred of like the yuppie, the yuppiness of the 80s um, and the people that used to be hippies that are not anymore, that sort of thing. So it, it feels like it would have been much more relevant at the time that it was written than now. But the story did end up getting very, very intense and it caught me partway through and didn't let go. So I did end up really liking this and gave it four stars. I also read this for the From Hell Book Club hosted by Kelly Hooked on Books and it's about this woman who has some serious issues and is very violent but she really wants to get back in the good graces of her boyfriend back when they were in this kind of a terrorist group fighting against the man uh, and she steals a baby to bring to him. It is really messed up and very tense. It was pretty long, like a lot of Robert McCammon books are. It was over 400 pages, but they went by quickly after the slow start. I mean, the first chapter, oh my gosh, I was so scared. I was so scared of this woman. <laughs> but then it kind of lost a little bit of its spark for a while and then things got really good. Obviously, trigger warnings for kidnapping and harm to children. Let's see. 
to the second book that I read in March, which was another carryover, Deviant, the shocking true story of Ed Gein, the original Psycho. It's the serial killer story, the crime story that Psycho, the movie and book are based on. I read this for the Creatures Creatures Everywhere book club on Goodreads, hosted by Latasha and Tyler J. And I don't read a lot of true crime, but oh, it was a shocking story. I knew about Ed Gein, but I, ne I haven't heard the whole story. And there were definitely some things I didn't know. I thought it was really detailed. Look at all of the events around that time. Some are positively connected to him. Some are questionable and there were some kind of tangents of other things going on at the same time, but most of them led back to the main story and other ones kind of gave context to just the time and other things going on. And it also gave a good picture of this area and how this could have happened without anyone knowing for so long. It was really, really fascinating. <laughs> I feel weird, like, reading about someone's actual life when they were doing such horrible, horrible things. But it was really well done. I gave it four stars. The third book that I finished in March is The Center by Aisha Manazir Siddiqui. And I read this for The Dark Hearts Book Club, hosted by Amy Noel Reeves. And I don't know exactly how to describe this book. It does have as subtle horror element. Well, it's not subtle, it, it's there, but um, it's not scary, but it does have a lot of mystery. So maybe it's like a mysterious speculative fiction. I'm not exactly sure, but it is about this woman who inspires to be a great translator. She's already a translator, but she has aspirations for doing great things. And she hears about the center from her boyfriend. where you can learn a language. It's like a school to learn a language in a short amount of time. And it is, you know, remarkably fast and you know everything about the language. <clears throat> Which is amazing. And there's some weirdness in the center. It's so secretive. You're not allowed to say anything about what goes on there and then um, it's kind of a mystery of what is actually going on at the center and how it all works. How can you learn a language in such a short time and it is really interesting the uh, weirdness <laughs> that this story goes to. 
I made the mistake of going in with expectations of a horror novel and it, it doesn't really read like that. What it does have is amazing characters that are very diverse and it's got a wonderful talk of many different languages and it has this really weird center with a great mystery going on. So maybe if I would have went in with different expectations, I would have liked it even more. I ended up giving it 3.25 stars. And the fourth book that I finished was The Spite House by Johnny Compton. This is actually the first book I started in March because those other ones um, were carryover, so I was almost done with them. and. Then the center was an audiobook, so it ended up going faster than this I read physically. So it was the first book I started in the month because I did a poll of what book I should read first for Romathon, and it ended up being the fourth one that I actually finished. And this is a haunted house book about a man and his two daughters that are kind of on the run and you don't really know why and they he takes a job to investigate a haunted house stay at the haunted house and record what happens to him so they have proof that it is haunted and obviously many creepy things happen. <laughs> the house itself, so weird and creepy. It's a spite house. It is super thin and super tall. Many stories, but like really thin. And it's on the cliff. And there are just, there's like a weird bulge coming out of it that's like an added on hallway so that the rooms could become separate bedrooms for privacy and it's just a weird house <laughs> and weird things happen in it. I really liked that the descriptions of the house and the spooky events were spooky, <laughs> which that's all I asked for in a haunted house story. I really like this book a lot and I gave it 4.25 stars which makes it my favorite book from the first half of March. I love haunted house stories so it had a lot going for it from the start and Romathon you get extra points for a black cover building on it because I'm Team Shadows and this was the perfect book for that. The last book that I finished was Flesh by Richard Lehman. This is the book club pick for the Year of Lehman, hosted by Kelsey from Slime and Slashers. I wanted to find out about this <laughs> paperbacks from hell writer that I've heard so many salacious things about. I knew that his writing was over sexualized and he uses the word rump a lot. And yes, he uses it often. <laughs> He did use other words for rump a couple times, but mostly it's rump. <laughs> and it was pretty over-sexualized, for sure. But there was more to this story as well, and that's why I ended up liking it okay. <laughs> it was, and honestly, like that really trashy, over-sexualized 
was done in like weird funny ways it just made me laugh mostly it was a fun read I would call it a popcorn read don't have to think a lot just fun and fast flesh is such a weird story it's about like this little flesh monster or parasite or something that goes inside of people and makes them do horrible things and the descriptions of this thing going into someone oh my gosh yuck yuck that's so gross definitely horror <laughs> And I was very surprised. I didn't really know what this was about going in. And that little weird flesh thing. Oh my gosh. Not expecting that. <laughs> this was a fast-paced, thrilling, kind of funny, and weird story that is super schlocky and trashy. And... You know, not the best, but also entertaining. So three stars and I will read some more layman. And that's the five books I finished for the first half of March. I've already finished one more book for the second half and hopefully I'll keep the momentum going. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I'll be back very soon with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.